more drones to Russia. Iran has promised to provide Russia with surface-to-surface -surface missiles, in addition to more drones, two senior Iranian officials and two Iranian diplomats told Reuters, a move likely to anger the United States and other Western powers. A deal was agreed on October 6 when Iran's first Vice President Mohammad Mukhtar, two senior officials from Iran's powerful Revolutionary Guard and an official from the Supreme National Security Council visited Moscow to talk to Russia about arms shipments. Iran agrees to send missiles, more drones to Russia. Reuters. Russia has requested more Iranian drones and ballistic missiles with better accuracy, especially the Fateh and Zolfagar missile families, said one of the Iranian diplomats, who was briefed on the trip. A Western official briefed on the matter confirmed it, saying there was an agreement between Iran and Russia to provide short-range surface-to-surface ballistic missiles, including the Zolfagar. One of the drones Iran has approved supply is the Shahed-136, a delta-wing weapon used as a kamikaze air-to-surface attack aircraft. It carries a small warhead that explodes on impact. The Fateh-110 and Zolfagar are Iranian short-range surface-to-surface ballistic missiles capable of striking targets at ranges between 300 km and 700 km, 186 and 435 miles. Iranian diplomats reject Western officials' statements that such transfers violate the 2015 UN Security Council resolution of the crisis through diplomatic means, the diplomat said. Ukraine has reported a spate of Russian strikes using Iranian-made Shahed-136 drones in recent weeks. Iran's foreign ministry on Tuesday dismissed unsubstantiated reports about Iran supplying drones and other weapons to Russia for use in Ukraine, while the Kremlin on Tuesday denied its forces had used Iranian drones to attack Ukraine. Asked whether Russia had used Iranian drones in its campaign in Ukraine, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said the Kremlin had no information about their use.